All right, so I raised the intake three sixteenths of an inch, and um, I got the clearance I needed. It's still pretty minimal, but um, you know it had to be that much. So you know the intake will be sit higher on the bottom, you know, than it would have otherwise. The grades, you know, and the won't be equal with the UHMW. It'll be Three, three sixteenths inset, which just means I'll have to, you know, possibly sand off the sharp edge that something could catch on at the bottom of the boat. Um, I just have to figure it out later. Didn't really have any other options as far as I could tell. Um, so, the other thing I figured out was that these rubber pads, they're hard rubber. They were, they were the ones that go in the cups on the oil pan, and um, they appear to be what what bears the load of the engine, because um, they um, you know being as hard a rubber as they are, you know these appear to be more like stabilizers. You know they're not they're not you know hardcore rubber. So they're stabilizers, vibration absorbers, whatever you want to call them. Um, obviously, they you know they keep the the engine set level and all that, but you know and they take the torque of the engine and, and absorb the the torque. So, but the weight's being held on the bottom. So this one here in the back, I probably got um, about I got about an inch of gap below that. Um, with the coupler lined up right. Um, and, you know, there's about three eighths or uh, seven eighths of crap. It's about seven eighths of a gap between, um, well, basically it leaves me about an eighth of an inch under the engine by raising that intake three sixteenths off, off the bottom from being level at the bottom. So, um, so I need, I'm going to go ahead and build a stand for that, um, probably be three and a half by four. And, you know, I'm just going to have a stand directly underneath it. I'm just going to build a, essentially I've got this half inch. This is the cutout for the intake, half inch thick. Um, plus I just purchased some scraps from the local yard, you know, and, I don't know what grade these scraps are, but you know, there's quarter inch, three sixteenths. Um, I think quarter inch is plenty, but I don't know about three sixteenths. I think I'll I'll go thicker on that. Probably use the half inch as much as I can. Um, the only problem with the deck of that plate being um, half inches, these are what came out of the wave runner. And these are what this sits on inside the boat. But this is encased by um, plastic. You know, plastic, whatever they build the boat over, is, it's part of the hole. But So these I cut out of the hole to get to these. And these are what those rubber pieces were mounted to. So that's what it looks like inside the hole. And these are both the same dimensions. So either one will fit. Same exact part, actually. So for the front and the back um, lower motor mount. So I figured, well, this would be more conducive to using you know, underneath the quarter inch um, aluminum plate. And I think, I think quarter inch is going to carry it fine. So I'll probably end up going with that just to make these work well. And this, this here was just held on with the, uh, a really tough rivet. I mean, it was like, it was definitely stainless, but it was hard. 
Um, you know, I just ground it off, no big deal, but I tried drilling it first, and it's like, yeah, that was, that was kind of tough. So anyway, um, that's the plan in the front. Um, with this sitting, I think it's a little high with the rubber there. And it's got probably as close to three quarter inch gap you know, between it and the bottom of the boat. So I might have to trim the rubber a little bit on the sides. That's pretty much where it'll have to sit. You know, and the, the mounting on these are not really center to the boat. So that's kind of off to the side a little bit from the V. But whatever, I mean, probably have to trim the rubber and then I'm just gonna fill that gap. And I'm definitely looking at using that half inch. A half inch plus whatever other plate I need to take up the difference. And hopefully the 316 inch, a quarter, whatever will will do the job on that. So you know, and then once those are those are placed, you know, I can put the weight of the engine on it, you know, and then basically tilt it, you know, and you see the ribs there, you kind of dig into the rubber, so you know, it could sit there on its own if it needed to. And then once I get the mo you know, the engine set on those at the right height with the coupler. I mean, it's just taking the weight of the motor now, and that, that rubber's not buckling, you know, so it's, it's tough rubber. It's, it's obvious that's what's supposed to take the weight. So then it's just a matter of building stabilizer brackets, you know, so, um, and that's really <clears throat> not too big a deal. I'll just measure out one piece at a time. And obviously you need a little bit of weight to be on those, but with the weight of the engine on those, I'll, I'll build those a little bit tall and just squeeze them underneath. You know, and, and tack them in, and then I'll pull the engine, weld it in. But I've got to get the bottom ones done first. And in the back, you know, since I had to raise the intake, you know, this is what I ended up with. I got a 3 16 um, you know, below the, the pump line. And it's not really a problem. You know, on both sides, there's about a half inch. Um, you know, it, it won't have as much of a, oop, won't have as much of a seal. Um, but, you know, I thought about possibly using some filler metal or just, just building up a weld along the bottom of this and, and just grinding it down and making it flush. Just, just give myself a little extra metal. Otherwise, this hole will be oblong on the top. You know, I'll have to cut out that, there's that much that I'll need to cut on the top. And the bolt holes are obviously going to have to be elongated. It's again, it's not a big deal. There's plenty of metal around here on both sides to, you know, to seal that. So, and this is the suction side. It's before the impeller. It's, it's all pretty, you know, low pressure stuff there. So anyway, I think it's all I got for now, but that's kind of how that, this section's going.